Apple will introduce a new low-cost 11th generation iPad tomorrow. According to leaker Majin Bu, Majin Bu claims that the new iPad will have the same design as the 10th generation model and that accessories will be perfectly compatible. Welcome back to our channel iPhone Expertise. Today we've got an exciting topic that's been buzzing in the tech world. If you're as curious as we are about the latest and greatest gadgets, you're in for a treat. We'll be diving deep into the highly anticipated release of the Apple new iPad 11th generation. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel iPhone Expertise for all the latest updates. Let's get started. Despite a heap of rumors and speculation, Tuesday came and went without any new iPad news. Apple usually waits a few weeks after releasing its latest smartphones to share news about its tablets. Apple fans have been waiting for a fair bit to see the next tablet, but according to some reliable Apple leakers, we might not see the new iPad, Mini Air, or Pro this month at all. We might not see a new iPad this month, though reports indicate Apple is still hard at work on new Minis, Airs, and Pros. Considering Apple has had yearly updates of its tablets year after year since 2017, it seemed reasonable that today would be a good day to drop the latest round. A few unreliable leakers were adamant we'd see a new 10.9-inch iPad to go alongside the 10th generation model. Then Apple shared its new $79 Apple Pencil stocked with USB-C. After that, radio silence for the rest of Tuesday. Last year's 10th generation iPads received a similar subdued announcement. There wasn't much difference between those tablets and their previous versions, though Apple added new colorways, relocated the selfie camera, and added Apple's proprietary M2 chip to the 6th generation iPod Pro. There was some speculation Apple would release its next iPad, iPad Mini, and iPad Air models with similarly little fanfare. Throughout this year, there was a lingering expectation we would see a new iPad Pro, but on Sunday, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman said that there's no real chance we'll see a new iPad this month, though Apple is still working on new tablets. There is the possibility the Cupertino, California company is saving its breath for next year. Some rumors have suggested Apple could introduce a massive 16-inch screen or organic light-emitting dia display to its lineup, so it's possible they want the launch to include some more fireworks. German is one of the more reliable figures on the Apple beat, so there's a strong chance we won't get a new iPad soon. Still, the Bloomberg writer said Apple is trying to turn out an M3-powered iPad Pro. The rest of the next-generation iPad line should also see speed boosts, but whether that happens next month or next year is hard to say. Earlier this year, off-sided Apple supply chain analyst Ming-Chi Kuo suggested we would see a real foldable iPad arrive sometime in 2024. According to some rumors, the device would be some sort of two-in-one that would combine a MacBook with a tablet with a built-in kickstand. Some other eagle-eyed Apple aficionados, like German, claimed there really was no chance of a 2024 Apple foldable, but why not live the dream? All the latest on the Apple new iPad 11th generation. We hope you enjoyed our deep dive into the rumors, expectations, and potential features of this highly anticipated device. If you found this video informative and entertaining, give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any thoughts or questions about the Apple new iPad 11th generation or any other tech topic, please drop them in the comments below.